While many of us are doing our best to stay warm, emergencies can obviously happen. And if you need help, ambulances are ready to keep you warm. WDBJ7 Damon O'Meara is live at the Blacksburg Volunteer Rescue Squad. Eamon, does EMS see more calls around this time of year? Well, Melissa, it's usually when it snows or is icy on roads and walkways that more calls come in. But these frigid temperatures we're seeing can make many calls much harder. If a patient is trapped outside, like in a vehicle, uh, and it takes some time to extricate them out of the vehicle, or maybe they just fell on the ice or in the snow somewhere, there's other considerations that we need to take to keep them warm while we're getting them out. So on top of the normal equipment on ambulances, Blacksburg has a cold emergency bag with even more warmers, wool blankets, foil blankets, and an emergency sleeping bag lined with warmers. On top of that is this heater brought to scenes where someone could be trapped in a car or room and could freeze before their rescue. We can use that to generate some warm air to blow and fill that space to keep them warm while we're working on them. Meanwhile, at Virginia Tech, the rescue squad doesn't have an extra bag of equipment, but their focus is on everything they have to leave outside as they only have a one truck garage. We have to ensure that the majority of our fleet that stays outside stays operational, you know, and at moment's notice we have to be able to respond to calls, as well as some of our routine equipment, our cardiac monitors, our ADs. Those are all temperature sensitive, as well as some of the drugs we carry. So when a call comes in, as you can see, the team carries the heart monitor and drug box with them from inside. But another emergency we've been seeing lately is lost power, which could mean no heat. Chief English has one important tip he says many don't think about. A lot of things can generate carbon monoxide, and you you know, if you have like a stove in your house and it's not ventilated and running, those chemicals and fumes can build up in your house and that can be very dangerous for you. Now, while Blacksburg says they don't get many calls for people being cold, Virginia Tech says they do get plenty of calls for hypothermia and other cold-related issues, especially as the students are starting to come back. Melissa, both rescue squads tell me the equipment and protocols they have in place and that we saw in that video are the same as many of our hometowns. Yeah, Eamon, and some great advice they offered there. Thank you for that report.